Hi guys, my name's Mitz and I'm going to show you some tips and tricks on a Windows 11 PC. The first thing I'm going to show you is the desktop icons that we're looking at right here. So firstly, um, I want to arrange them. So I'm going to right click on the de desktop right here and I'm going to press view and I'm going just going down to this next menu and I'm going to say auto arrange icons. Okay, so now they're all over here. Now they're a bit big too, so I want to make them a bit smaller. So I'm going to go back to view and choose medium. There we go. Now I'll show you what small looks like. I think it's a little bit small, but they're the small icons. You can have that if you want. Another one I like to do is to auto hide the taskbar. So you can see it down the bottom there and it comes up when I put my mouse on it. So it's very easy to get to things still. Now what I'm going to do is enable that and disable it so you can see. So what we want to do is go to the taskbar and right click on it and click on taskbar settings. So let's go down the bottom here we're already in taskbar settings. Now just press on taskbar behaviors and just here that's all you have to do is tick that box automatically hide the taskbar. Now if I take that off it just stays there as you can see right now it's just there. So put it back on and now it's back again from here you can also, I like this option right here, select the far corner of the taskbar to show the desktop. Now that was on, that came out, I think it came out in Windows Vista and now you have to enable it if you want it. So what it is I will show you. So first I'm going to press window key on the keyboard in front of me and D. So all the windows disappear off my desktop. Now just here right in the corner I don't know whether it's recording that part of it or not but right down in the corner there it says show desktop and you can press it and it'll come back. Now if you want to get rid of it windows key and D. Okay so that's another little trick for you. Here's another one for you. Press the Win key and the letter H and you can record things. So let's get a Word document. So you can't use this unless you've got a text box or a Word document or something in front of you. Maybe a notepad or anything really. Now I have it there so let's press that Window key and H again. Now it's listening, oops, and it's also writing everything that I say, full stop. <laughs> um, it's not perfect, but, oh, <laughs> oh, maybe it is. It's even put O and all that in it, but anyway, that's fine. <laughs> okay, well, that's how you do that. So as soon as you touch the keyboard, it disables it. So you can either press it with your mouse and get it to start listening again, or you can press the Win key and H to stop it and start it. Okay, so I just press the H key with the Windows key again and it started. All right, that's a good one. I like that one because back in the day I did spend a few hundred dollars on a voice to text program full stop Okay. we're going to press the win key and the D to get to clear the desktop again so now I want to show you something else we are going to press the win key and the letter V Okay, so this one's interesting. I like this one. This one is your clipboard for um, all the things that you've copied. So uh, it's very handy because yesterday I copied a link 
and then I went and did all these other things and then I realized I hadn't I haven't got the link anymore and um, so I scrolled down here right down and I found it immediately and uh, it was awesome so it did save me okay so I'm going to show you how to enable or disable that um, clipboard history it's called but first I'm going to show you how to get to system system settings so what we want to do is press on the win key on the keyboard again and the letter S so that um, comes up and you can press on settings there right the next way is to press on the win key and the letter I now as you can see it brings up completely different um, one here so it'll probably bring up the home page of the system here and you can go down and check out some stuff you can press on system there's a lot of um, settings in there I'll show you some in a minute so another way to get to system or system settings is to press the win key again I love the win key by the way and the letter X so you've just got straight to these these extra ones where you can go straight to something these are different it's different to what you see on the other menus as you can see so you can get to do device manager straight from here disk management computer management Okay, so let's go and disable or enable the history clipboard. So all we want to do is get to settings. So we'll go to settings any way you like. I've got three ways to get there. Uh, now we want to press on system and then scroll down to clipboard. Click on that and here it is here clipboard history now everything is here for you to see if you just look around if you go looking around don't change too many settings though unless you know what you're doing but you can see that there's these little tricks that you can it can help you a lot like that helped me out yesterday when I didn't copy the link properly all right, let's go on to the next one. We'll press Windows D again. And go to System. Okay, so let's press on Personalization. And then go down to Taskbar. And just here it says Task View. Now if you turn that on, it actually enables multiple desktops. So I'm going to show you that now. So we'll press the Win key and D again to get rid of the screen. We'll go down to our taskbar that we've got on Auto Hide. Okay. And here is the icon for that one there. So what I've got here is this desktop, which we're looking at right now. So let's look at it again, that one. Then I've got this one. I can press on this one. Now this one's got different things that are open. Okay, I've only got a couple of things open here. But the first one here has got hundreds of things open. Like a lot, a lot. I'd say a hundred or more things open at one time. Now in the other one, I cleaned it up and I just put a few things up there for now, but as you can see you can open anything you want or close anything you want and um, let's have a look at this okay this is um, the hard drives in my computer so it shows the space that I've got so I can show you how to get to that as well so let's do that so we'll press on settings again so we'll go win key and um, the X for this one or you could do I or whatever or you could do Windows key and S so there's those three things now press on um, system okay after you get to the system you scroll down and you go to about and this is where you see all the goodies for your Windows what version of Windows you've got and also what kind of computer you've got 
so this doesn't show you where or how big your hard drive is so that's another way to go so I just thought I'd let you know it's not in there so we'll go to the desktop again and this time we just want to go down to the file folder here where I was before actually and on the side here it has a menu pane here so all you have to do you can click on all of these but all you have to do is click on this PC and in here you will see your um, hard drives so on this computer we've got a it says 118 but it's basically a 120 gigabyte disk just to run Windows and then over here we've got a 2 terabyte disk to store the, the uh, extra files and whatever now that might not look like much there but it's actually a fair bit so alright um, that's how you find out where your hard drive how big your hard drive is is just by going and clicking on this PC alright let's get rid of that by pressing the Windows key and the D again love that key especially when someone walks in and you don't want them to see what you're doing which um, it's pretty boring what I'm doing but anyway it doesn't matter so the next thing is this is just a quick one and I don't find it very interesting but you can press the Windows key and W and it comes up with widgets now I tried to find something that I like in here so um, what I did is clicked on these dots here and said manage interests okay now the problem with this is that it's very one-eyed it's all from Microsoft so you can't um, get your favorite you know person up there or anything it's just news uh, all the normal news uh, there's a couple of things that I did find that were alright I found um, gardening a couple of gardening things there and maybe a couple of health things so there and a cooking one as well so I've got garden posts and cooking posts coming up but I also have other weird stuff coming up um, which is fine you know um, I'm not interested in those things but they obviously haven't got enough gardening or posts that I'm interested in so it does come up with a lot of rubbish as well and over here you can get the weather which I do like uh, earlier it was 17 degrees and I was freezing because <laughs> uh, not not freezing but uh, because I live in Queensland it's always you know pretty hot so not used to the cold um, yeah so it's got all these goodies here now you just so all you have to do is click on that and you can say hide this widget or pin this widget so that's for those side ones there on here you just um, click on it and choose what you want here I chose manage interests um, but like I said there's a lot of stuff there that um, comes up okay so that's another thing let's go on to the next one also another thing with the multiple desktop that I enabled down here um, if you want to bring it up with the win key again amazing key on the keyboard press the win key and the tab key and it will show you what windows there are so in this desktop here we've got all of them in this desktop we've got them and this one's a new desktop so all we have to do is press on plus and it's created another desktop for us to fill up so we can choose to use that one now there'll be absolutely nothing open in here so it's a totally nice clean desktop for me okay okay guys I hope you enjoyed those Windows 11 tips that's it for today if you liked this video put a comment down below asking me what video you want to see if you want to learn something else okay thanks for watching